Hey guys, it's Tim. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, welcome. How's it going? So today is a Sunday, which means it's a weekend, which means night market season in Toronto. I'm pretty excited, but also have some bad news. Unfortunately, my cousin, Yewon, she came from Korea to visit us here in Canada uh, for a couple of weeks. Um, unfortunately, it's her last day today. And what sucks is that there's some misplanning and so she's unable to actually go to the night market with me and my friends today. But there's also good news that she's going to be having a really good barbecue at home. And so I'm a little bit jealous, but hopefully my family will save me some slices of meat once I come back from Toronto today. Hopefully. It's been about three years since I've last been to the waterfront market here in Toronto, ever since, of, you know, COVID. I'll be honest, when it comes to like these types of like night markets and events, I get very overwhelmed of like what to buy, what to eat. It got me thinking, for the most part, past couple years, I've been able to enjoy a night market with about 40 bucks. And it got me thinking, can you actually enjoy a night market now in 2022 with only 40 bucks? And so I got my 40 bucks here, see how it goes. Um, in case I'm not able to enjoy myself and get more food, because I know these markets are getting more expensive nowadays. I brought some extra cash just in case. We'll see how much 40 bucks can actually give us. And if not, then well, I'm gonna be breaking this challenge in a way. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, I am here with Roger and Sam. We're ready to eat because I am very hungry. We're all hungry. Oh, watch out, watch out. <laughs> she almost ran into that guy, man. <laughs> for the vlog. For the vlog. Yeah, yeah for, the, for the footage, you know? Okay. Hello. Hi, cuties. Hey. How's it going? Where's cousin? Oh, she can't come today. Oh, you will. She has to get, um. I don't feel good. <laughs> Wait, what? I have been digestion. Oh, oh no. no. So what happened? Oh, oh, oh. oh just my digestion. Oh no. Can I get Pepto Bismol? I'm not eating. Okay. okay. Oh. Perfect. Go awesome. Ahead. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> now you just throw it away. I know. Where's my line, dude? So, so, okay. For free. Oh, yeah, for free. I think that's included in the price. <laughs> this is the seventeen dollars. Just this. We got our lanterns. <laughs> How do you do this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tequila sunrise! Woo! Oh, 
guys. See Thanks for coming out. Bye. 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 <laughs> there we go. Alright, so feature time here. I realized once I came back home yesterday, I forgot to film this outro. And in terms of me trying to spend less than 40 bucks on a food festival, I would say I actually met my goal. So in total, I basically spent about 46 bucks, which is above my $40 limit. But that was also because of the fact that I used some money to play some games. My friends and I started playing at some claw machine games and we ended up winning because of the help of an employee. So if we were to take out the total cost of the games that we played, I spent about 34 bucks on food and drinks, which I think was pretty good. And so for this event, they actually charged 15 bucks for an entrance fee and included in this package was a little lantern box that you could uh, light up and then just kind of put onto the lake that they made. Or was it a pond? A mini pond or lake that they made. But basically, overall it was a pretty good experience. I really liked it a lot. My friends and I also had a lot of fun throughout the night. And so I would say for 40 bucks, I think it is doable to have a fun time in Toronto at a food festival. But then again, as prices go up, we might have to start spending more money on food. Anyways, I'm going to cut the vlog here today. Let me know down in the comments below of how much you're willing to spend on a food festival and if it's worth it. Like always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!